Konnichiwa, Ai desu. Hello, my name is Ai. I'm a Japanese mom who lives in Southern California with my two girls and my partner. In this video, I'm gonna introduce Japanese home cooking. Keywords are easy, simple, yummy, and Japanese. Today, I'm gonna introduce Japanese secret magical seasoning, which enhances the umami flavor and tenderize meat and fish and uh, good for digestion, skin, and detox. That is shiokoji. Shiokoji. Shiokoji is made of salt, water, and koji. And koji is a fermented, malted rice. Miso, shoyu, uh, mirin, sake, vinegar, rice vinegar, and shiokoji. They all contain, the main ingredient is koji. Koji, fermented uh, malted rice. And fermented food was developed in high temperature, humid area, like uh, Southeast Asian countries. And each country has its own uh, malt. And koji is only found in Japan. Koji is uh, the malt found, only found in Japan. So miso, uh, shoyu. Sake, they all taste like Japan. And shiokoji is a not new thing. It was there forever, but because uh, recently, last couple of years, people started to realize a probiotic food, enzyme food with enzyme, and fermented food is so good. Shiokoji is getting more and more popular. People started to realize how good it is for health and for flavor. Using shiokoji, today I'm gonna introduce four dishes. First one is shiokoji lemon pasta. So lemon spaghetti, spaghetti with uh, lemon sauce with uh, shiokoji. And this is a hikari miso brand. And in the bottle, there are some recipe, recipes. And I tried all. And this shiokoji lemon pasta, this one was really good. But there's no English translation, so I'm gonna demonstrate and uh, show you how to prepare pasta and to make a shiokoji lemon pasta we use the, this one canned tuna and it says that tuna flake or we call it shi chicken shi chicken is chicken of sea so canned tuna and Japanese uh, canned tuna is really good and we use for sandwich or pasta toast uh, and sometimes we just open the can and add mayonnaise, soy sauce, and mix it and put over rice and it tastes really good. So if you have a chance, please try a Japanese uh, canned tuna. And second dish is a uh, uh, bettarazuke. Bettarazuke is a pickled radish, pickled with vinegar, sugar, uh, salt, and koji malt. But instead uh, of koji malt, we use the shio koji today. And bettarazuke is famous in Tokyo. It's a Tokyo food. And every year in October 19th and 20th, there is a bettarazuke festival in uh, Nihonbashi area of Tokyo. And bettara means sticky. So finishing, uh, finishing product is uh, coated with koji and you eat as it is and it's kind of sticky. That's why we call it bettarazuke. Third one. Third one is kyuri no ipponzuke. Kyuri is cucumber. Ippon is the one piece, one whole piece. And zuke is pickle. So pickled cucumber as a whole. And usually you don't use shiokoji, but I'm gonna try with shiokoji today. And kyuri no ipponzuke, uh, you can find at the uh, summer festival, Natsumatsuri, summer festival in Japan and it's a very uh, nice uh, healthy snack in the summer and fourth one is a porridge with a chicken so marinate chicken with shiokoji and cook with rice from the scratch from the raw, raw rice so let's see how to prepare these four dishes with shiokoji they are all easy and simple and at the end of this video, I will have Japanese lesson, one expression a day. So please stay tuned. And if you are new to this uh, channel, please don't forget to subscribe. 
And if you have a comment or request for future recipe, please write it down at the comment section down below. First one is Shiokoji Lemon Pasta. To make a shiokoji pasta, we need about 3 oz of uncooked pasta and 1 can of uh, tuna, canned tuna or sea chicken, canned tuna or sea chicken and cabbage. It's a three, about 3 leaves of cabbage and cut into the bite size. And one clove of garlic, uh, it's grated, grated. And two tablespoons of lemon juice. And three tablespoons of olive oil. And two and a half spoon of tablespoon of um, shiokoji. First, you parboil cabbage. Over the boiling water, cook cabbage just about one minute and drain the water. And for spaghetti, boil the uh, water and add salt. And cook spaghetti as directed in a package. And save two tablespoons of uh, hot water from cooking pasta to, to make a uh, sauce. So add two tablespoons of cooking pasta hot water and add garlic, one clove of grated garlic, two tablespoons of lemon juice and three tablespoons of olive oil and two and a half tablespoons of shiokoji. Mix well and add can of tuna, add one can of tuna, add a parboiled cabbage, add a cooked pasta and mix well. And shiokoji lemon pasta is ready to serve. This pasta is very easy to make and kids love this pasta. So please try to make, make it with your kids, little ones. Next one is Bettarazuke. Daikon radish pickled with shiokoji and sugar and vinegar. To make Bettarazuke, you need half pound of daikon radish, two tablespoons of sugar, one tablespoon of rice vinegar and three tablespoons of shiokoji. First, uh, you peel the daikon radish. Uh, you can use a peeler. And cut into quarter inch round shape in a zip lock place daikon radish cut daikon radish in a small bowl Add uh, one, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, 
and three tablespoons of shiokoji and two tablespoons of sugar and mix well. And put in a, a ziplock and mix well. And keep it in a fridge overnight or 24 hours. And betterzuke is ready to serve. And you can you can serve or eat as it is. You don't have to wash away the shiokoji. And it's sweet and crunchy and tastes very good. Next one is kyuri no ipponzuke. Cucumber pickle. And we need four pieces of cucumber and uh, preferred uh, Japanese cucumber, but Persian one is good too. And three tablespoons of shiokoji and dried uh, chili pepper, sliced, sliced dried chili pepper. First, uh, peel the cucumber partially. You don't have to uh, peel completely. Partially uh, peel the cucumber. In a ziplock, uh, add three tablespoons of shiokoji and add cucumber and massage, massage on a cutting board. Add one teaspoon of dried chili pepper. Before serving kyuri no ipponzuke with kitchen paper, dry off the excess water or shiokoji uh, dry off with the uh, kitchen paper and it's a fun way to eat uh, put the uh, chopstick wooden chopstick in uh, kyuri no ipponzuke and serve as a whole it's a fun way to eat last one is torigayu porridge with chicken And to make torigayu, you need half piece of chicken breast and three tablespoons of shiokoji and half cup of raw rice and four cups of water. First, place a chicken in a ziplock and put three tablespoons of shiokoji and let it stand for a half a day, about half a day. Once uh, chicken is ready, uh, let's wash the rice. Half cup of raw rice. Drain the water and place the uh, rice in a pot and add 4 cups of water add chicken with shiokoji and cook over high heat until it starts boiling and once it starts boiling turn down the heat to a uh, low low heat over the low heat cook about 35 minutes and after 35 minutes uh, torigayu or porridge with chicken is ready. Take out chicken and cut into small pieces. And put back in a uh, Porridge and torigayu is ready to serve. 
you can serve with your favorite toppings like sliced green onion, seaweed,、uh, pickles, or you can、uh, drizzle some soy sauce too. Shiokoji. I use shiokoji and made three dishes. This is a daikon, daikon radish, a betarazuke. Betarazuke is a Tokyo food, famous in Tokyo. And kiuri no ippon zuke. I pickle the whole、uh, cucumber with shiokoji. And this is a, like a festival food. Or hot summer day, it's a good snack, healthy snack.、Ah. And this one,、uh, okayu, okayu, okayu san tukurimashita, okayu, porridge, porridge, chicken porridge. And this is the sauce, negi sauce, green onion sauce.、Um, I, it's, the recipe is in the tofu video that I made, so please check my tofu video. This one has a simple ingredient but tastes very flavorful. Tastes good. Shiokoji did a good job. And this is a okayu. Has some、uh, negi sauce. Oishi negi sauce. And it a s k i m a s u Mmm, my toro toro. Rice has a really good flavor. Mmm, mmm, on to your sheep. Tweeter, Tweeter. Japanese lesson, one expression a day. Today's expression is Tsuiteru. Tsuiteru. Tsuiteru means I'm very lucky. I'm lucky. And the word came from my、uh, very respecting、uh, favorite person in Japan, and everybody in Japan loves him. His name is Saito Hitori. So Saito is last name, and Hitori is first name. And we call him Hitori san. Hitori san is a business person in Japan and he owns a business called Ginza Marukan. And Ginza Marukan is a, a health and beauty company in Tokyo. And Hitori san is, has been a highest taxpayer in Japan. And after 2001, Japanese government stopped announcing, so we don't know the ranking, but、uh, Hitori san is the highest、uh, taxpayer. Hitori san published, he wrote so many books about how to be successful and how to be happy in your life. And、uh, in his、uh, books or in his story, he tells,、uh, try to say, Tsuiteru, Tsuiteru all the time.、Uh, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. And、uh, he meant, I think his message is to appreciate what you have and what you,、uh, like、ha- what you have, people you have, and your situation. Current situation, appreciate everything you have. And Tsuiteru is like a kotodama. Kotodama is a, a Japanese a traditional belief that power, world h a v e power. So if you keep saying it happens, good things happen. So you say Tsuiteru, Tsuiteru, thousand times a day, and you'll be fine. Hitori san,、uh, he admits in public that. He is not interested, interested in learning English. He doesn't like speaking English. He is not interested in uh, uh, giving speech in English. So you can, it's hard to find, probably it's hard to find his books. Uh, but uh, just saying, Tsuiteru, Tsuiteru makes you、uh, really、um, raise your energy and make you happy. So please try to say, ついてるついてるついてるついてるサーザンスタイムアデイありがとうございました。